We've been looking at the power of shame and how it actually destroys you. It, it, it disrupts your identity so that you're always looking at the flaw, what you're not, rather than discovering the beauty and the wonder of who you are. And it keeps you from being the best you. And we shared last week how shame causes us to hide. It causes us to self-protect. Uh, and, and so it, cut, it puts a wall around us to keep us from being hurt, from being judged, from uh, being rejected. But the reality is it also keeps the love that we need to restore our soul, to heal our identity from coming in as well. You see, when we begin to look at the shame, we begin to realize that one of the fuels or the outworking of shame is this word fear. I, I said that Adam responded to God and he said, I was naked so I covered myself because I was afraid. Well, fear is an outworking of shame. It creates insecurity because you are doubting who you are. You are doubting who you were created to be. You're doubting if you have value, you have worth, or you have that sense of significance. And you see, that word fear also causes us then not to risk because it creates a boundary around us because if I walk out of my comfort zone, if I walk out of that self-protection, I could be hurt, I could be judged, I could be condemned. And you see, in that moment, all that insecurity and all that doubt begins to shake the very fabric and the wonder of who you are. And you begin to realize that that is where insecurity begins to come in. And that's where, if you can't seem to overcome that insecurity, you're constantly in that fear of failure, constantly in that fear of rejection. And then you start beginning to blame everything around you. You, you blame your childhood, or you blame your teachers, or you blame your boss, or, or you blame, blame, blame. And, and blame actually is another outworking of shame. That's what Adam did the moment that God said, how did this happen? He said, it was the woman's fault. And then God said to the woman, how, how did this happen? And he said, it was the serpent's fault. And you see, what it does is that shame divides us. It isolates us. You were created for relationship. That's how love was supposed to flow. But when you focus on there's something wrong with me, you're no longer focusing on a relationship, you focus on me. That's where selfishness comes in. I often say love is always preferring, serving, promoting the other. But shame is actually serving, promoting, self-protecting me. That's the moment we fail to allow love to truly outwork itself in our lives because we're more interested in what I get, what I need. And so that's, that's the outworking of shame. It's there to cause you to, to come into that place of fear, that place of insecurity, that place of always questioning what others are thinking. It's there to destroy the power of relationship, which ultimately is what the gospel is about. It's about a relationship between you and God. It's one thing dealing with sin. It's another thing allowing your shame to be dealt with as well. And so... When you begin to understand the outworkings of the power of shame, that's what we need to begin to identify. You don't need to hide. You don't need to self-protect. Fear is just an illusion. It's not really there. And when you begin to come to God with your shame, He's more than happy to cleanse it because that's why He sent Jesus, to renew you, to restore you, to transform your heart so that you can transform the world. This is Steve Chua.